everyone and welcome to my channel Divine Disclosures. Today I have a prophetic dream to share with you all. I had it a few months ago um, and the date was 1227 so I looked up that number in the Strong's Exhaustive and it means Diablopo uh, which means to see clearly, to have your vision restored, okay? And that's kind of what this, this dream was talking about. So let me get into it. Um, in the dream, I was re preparing my home because it was about to be sold, okay? So I was packing up things, cleaning, um, fixing random things, and out of the blue shows up my ex, right? And I remember thinking that this ex was, you know, abusive and nasty, just a horrible person, a godless person. And I told him straight up, I'm like, the only reason you're here on my property is because you want a piece of this. You know that I'm selling it and you want a piece of the pie. So then it switches to another scene, right? Now, let me um, clarify something. The man in the dream was my ex, right? But in real life, I had never um, went out with this person before. He was actually a crush that I had. And I assumed that his family was wealthy and that they would not be accepting of myself and my family. And so I never, um, I never had anything to do with him. So I know that the Lord used that person in the dream for a certain reason. Okay. Because it's, it's symbolizing people of wealth, right? People who are the evil people who already have wealth, which as you know about the wealth transfer, it's the wealth of the wicked is being transferred to God's righteous, his chosen people. So anyways, this man was trying to come back into my life, right? And his father goes ahead and invites me and my daughter to come over to their home, which they have a very nice home. Um, but when we were there, it was a mess, okay? And the man offered me a job because he knew at that time in my life I didn't have money and I needed money. And so he was offering me a job acting as though he was helping me out, right? Um, and I look at the description of the job and it's a very tedious, uh, hard job. Um, it's got like 50 different little pieces that need to be assembled and put together and um, it was, it was fixing fixing his toilet, okay? Uh, now, I know in real life they don't actually have that many pieces, but he was going to pay me a fraction of what a professional would have been paid, okay? Like a small fraction. And I realized this in the moment. I'm like, okay, I don't know if I really want to take this job because it was like an insult, you know, you're giving me the um, most base job to do in your house and you're going to pay me crap for it. And so I took note of that right away. And then we go and he offers me a glass of wine. And I'm like, sure, I'll have a glass of wine. And he wants to pour it into a beaker, like something that was used for chemistry experiments, right? And this beaker, it looked like it was a hundred years old. It looked like it had been used thousands of times with different chemicals. There were streaks going down the sides of it, calcification, um, just etched, you know, stains. And the shape of the beaker was really weird. And I was just really put off by it. I was like, no, I don't. I don't really want to drink out of that. Um, do you have any stemware? 
um, and I realized that if they weren't offering it to me, I assumed that it was because maybe it was dirty or something. Um, and like I said, the house was dirty. So I go in the kitchen and I see that they did indeed have stemware. There were these martini glasses and I was like, well, I'll go ahead and wash one of those instead of drinking out of what you offered me. Okay. And so that was the end of the dream. They, um, you know, they thought very, very lowly of me and my daughter and they did not, um, they were not afraid to show it basically. Um, they were not trying to hide their, I don't know, disgust of me. Um, because people who are wealthy, a lot of the time they believe that people who don't have as much money as they do or possessions or property or whatever, um, the case may be, they truly believe that the people who don't have are not intelligent, not special, not human, um, not worthy of their time. Okay. They're people that they need to rob and steal from to gain their wealth. Okay. And so I kind of got the impression, um, when I was thinking about this, that these people who are already wealthy, who, you know, might be trying to come back into, um, your life, um, it could be because they're losing their wealth, okay? They're losing what they have. And um, some of these people might be um, occultists. And so these occultists, they are able to see into the future. And they can see who is going to be blessed financially and then try to attach themselves to these people, right? And so that's kind of what's going to be happening and already has been happening. Um, I've had people in the past year or so uh, try to come into my life and um, they were successful people, you know, businessmen. And I would pray about it, okay? And so the Lord will reveal to me who is of him and who is not, who is sent by him and who is sent by the enemy. And so he wants you to see clearly okay he wants you to have your vision to be clear and have discernment during these times of who is somebody god wants in your life because god does not want these people whose wealth is being taken away from them to be a part of your life okay to bring you down to um weasel their way into your business, your finances, your anything. And he wants me to point out that um, if you are a person who has never had wealth, um, never ran your own businesses, did not, doesn't know how to really uh, manage, then don't think highly of people who have already had that. Okay, he wants you to seek him for financial advice, um, not other people, because like I said, people will be coming out of the woodwork and this could be, you know, before you get the money, it may not actually be after. And so don't think that they're an opportunity because they probably aren't. And even if they do tell you a thing or two here and there and you think, oh, this is great. I needed that. Um, that's just to bait you, basically. So take this word to the Lord and ask him um, to give you discernment so that you can see clearly during these times who is supposed to be in your life when you are going to be receiving these blessings and who is not supposed to be in your life. But anyways, have a wonderful day and God bless you.